Valley's Base Metals Business Series, focusing on processing and refining. People have been trying to solve the riddle of metal refining since ancient times, constantly asking, how can we take minerals and refine them into valuable metals? Today, processing ore into metal is one of the most complex industrial processes on Earth. How we extract metal varies according to the type of ore and the level of purity we will need in the final product. All ores need concentrating. Even the richest ore will only have a small percentage of the mineral we need. The valuable mineral has to be separated from the surrounding rock or uneconomic material. We want to remove all this unwanted material and increase the concentration of metal at every stage. Concentrating begins right in the mine with efficient mining methods. We then use a combination of mechanical, chemical, and physical concentrating processes combined with water and or heat. Lateritic ores contain chemically bound water that must first be removed through a drying process in high temperature kilns. Nickel and copper sulfide ores need further crushing and grinding to liberate the valuable minerals from rock. The mixture, or slurry, is fed into a rotating mill where heavy steel rods or balls grind the rock. The ore is crushed into a fine powder and mixed with water. This process makes handling the ore easier and helps free valuable minerals while improving surface contact for the next stage of processing. The feedstock produced requires further concentration of the valuable minerals. Depending on the type of ore and the final product required, we can choose different types of processing. The main mineral processing method for copper nickel sulfide is flotation separation. Different minerals respond to water and to various added chemicals in diverse ways. By knowing the minerals' respective surface properties, we can separate the different minerals in the feedstock. The valuable minerals such as nickel and copper adhere to the air bubbles which form the froth floating on the surface and can be skimmed off. The flotation process can include a number of different stages, each stage allowing ever more intense concentration of the different base metals. At the same time, trace impurities can be rejected. The concentrate that results is filtered and dried. The concentrated powder must be further refined to remove iron, sulfur and other impurities. The choice of method for the next stage is either water-based or fire-based. The water-based process method is called hydrometallurgical refining or hydromet for short. Hydromet processing uses water-based chemical treatment to extract nickel from the concentrate and refine it to finish nickel. This leading-edge technology is at the heart of Valley's new facilities at Goro, New Caledonia and Long Harbour, Canada. Hydromet is also used at Tres Valley in Chile with biological agents and acid. Hydromet technology totally eliminates smelting in the air emissions it produces. This differs from the ancient and traditional method of metal refining that uses fire. The fire-based process, or smelting, is called pyrometallurgy. This process, used by Valley in Canada, Indonesia and Brazil, uses thermal treatments to extract metals and takes place in powerful flash or electric furnaces. Modern smelting furnaces have changed dramatically. They have been redesigned and calibrated to reduce emissions and remove impurities. The result of smelting and converting is a liquid metal mat and a fluid slag containing iron silicates. Slags are reprocessed in an electric furnace to recover any residual nickel and copper. The remaining slag is safely sequestered in berms prior to revegetation. The liquid metal mat is then further refined with a variety of processes. Fluid bed roasting suspends the fine particles in a steam of hot gases to produce high-grade nickel oxides. Valley in Sudbury, Canada has invested heavily in new fluid bed roaster scrubbing technology to capture sulfur dioxide gas and convert it to sulfuric acid and liquid sulfur dioxide for resale. Another method, the carbonyl process, uses the chemical reaction between carbon monoxide and nickel to produce high-purity nickel pellets and powders. 
Electrowinning, which refers to the passage of an electrical current through the solution, is used to plate high-purity copper from the residue of the nickel carbonyl process. Copper sulfide concentrate, containing 33% copper, can be produced in the mill by flotation, or it can be further refined to nearly 99% purity. The platinum group metals, cobalt, gold, and silver, are also recovered at different stages throughout the refining process, as these trace minerals are found in the same ore. Cobalt is electro one to produce rounds, which are one-inch diameter cobalt disks deposited onto stainless steel sheets. Cobalt is used in the production of super alloys, tool steels, magnetic alloys, and in many other chemical applications. Producing useful metal from a massive piece of rock isn't magic, but sometimes it can seem to be. Due to the complex nature of both the Earth's ore and rapidly changing technology, the refining of metals presents an extraordinary human challenge. To continue to thrive, the mining industry must find the perfect balance between safe operation, quality, productivity, risk management, and the environment. At Valley's Base Metals Business, doing things better is our daily objective. To learn more about how we are transforming mining, please watch the other videos in this series.